Good morning and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I am uh, currently I'm going to Home Depot. Uh, I need to go pick up uh, something that I bought for the house. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, um, I have to go to the house today. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm back from Home Depot and I don't know how the nurses and doctors and health workers and whoever wear this how they can breathe in this mask for like hours but anyway I got my order I'm ready to go home and um, get my day started okay you guys so for dinner I'm making beef pot roast and I'm supposed to be doing it using a Dutch oven and this is the Dutch oven that I have and this is the pot that this is the beef pot roast that I have I mean it's a chuck roast um, that I have and this thing is huge so I'm gonna have I cut it was like in one piece I just cut it right here and I'll have to make both pieces fit in here and I need for this this is an all all recipes uh, recipe the prep time is 20 minutes the cook is two hours is she crying and it should be ready in two hours and 20 minutes and I need two teaspoon olive oil four pounds bone track roast boneless oh my husband's but that's doesn't matter oh, uh, one onion yeah. chopped two cloves garlic two bay leaves and uh, bay leaves one teaspoon salt and half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper okay well I'm gonna add a lot, a lot more ingredients other than this because just onion garlic bay leaves Okay, so my the Dutch oven is warmed up. Ooh, that's not one. I want light. Why is it light? Oh, anyway, so I have the Dutch oven is ready. I'm gonna sear one um, piece first. Chef Luigi. on both sides for four minutes um, by itself but I went ahead and sprinkled the top with a little bit of salt and pepper and I'm gonna do the same for the other side and just a little bit I didn't put too much but um, as you can see I don't know if you can see yeah just that and uh, I will do it on the other side as well so this is the second piece of the pot roast and uh, I have the onion in here now I have all these different spices and herbs that I'm gonna make and kind of put them um, to rub and uh, oh I need to grab my garlic paste from the fridge Like I said, I don't have bay leaves, so I'm just gonna use a whole bunch of other leaves that I have. I have basil, I have 
um, rosemary and I have rosemary, thyme and basil so that's what I'm gonna be using so I have my bowl here oh and a spoon so I'm gonna use this is my garlic paste I'm gonna use tablespoon I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of garlic paste and then I have the seasoning salt I'm gonna just I would say about a teaspoon a teaspoon because I don't want to make it too salty and I have onion powder I'm gonna add that about let's say a teaspoon and I have uh, um, ground oregano I would say about a quarter of a teaspoon and uh, then I have dill weed yes about a teaspoon yeah come here I'm in the kitchen and you need to get dressed we gotta go pick up daddy well she's actually gonna dress then basil leaves Basil leaves, I would say about um, a tablespoon. A tablespoon basil leaves, and then oh, this was a dill. And then I have freeze dried dill, so that I would just put like half a teaspoon. And then I have thyme. This is from the Mexican, from the brand I have is called El Mexicano. So I'll put about a teaspoon. Then I have rosemary about a teaspoon. And just add, a, oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, about a teaspoon of oil, and I'm gonna add some uh, black pepper. This is what I have. Let's see, that's what it looks like. That's the my paste base, my spice base for the roast. And let me check on the onion. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of this to. Ooh. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna add about. Two, maybe a tablespoon and a half to the onion to the onion and this is what this is what it looks like Okay. Then I'm gonna try to fit this big old piece of meat. I 
then the second piece of the roast. Yeah. Just put it like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna add. I'm gonna leave about like enough, like to make about one tablespoon. Because I'm going to add that later. Because I'm gonna, if it's reduced enough, I will add some veggies around it, and I will um, add the rest. So it's done. I'm gonna spread it so it's okay. So that's it. And it's supposed to be here for like 30 minutes before going in the oven. So the, ter the 30 minutes at 325 of the roast is done so I lowered the temperature to 300 and then um, I set a timer for about an hour now I need to recharge <laughs> my uh, left ankle that the ankle is not flexing anymore and I took it off and it looks like the battery on the ankle is dead which is weird because oh now it's making sound oh my goodness that's weird anyway i'm gonna charge it like 20 minutes to see if it's gonna help because usually if it's charged or if the battery is good enough there will be like this there's a light over here like this I don't know if you can see but it's supposed to uh, flash blue and it's not flashing so I'm thinking that it's dead which is weird because I charged this today is Saturday um, and I charged this on Thursday night Thursday night to Friday I charged it and um, it's supposed to um, go on for a few days, like two to three days, but yeah, I don't know. I will try to see. This is the first time this actually ever happened to me since I've got these ankles and I've got, I've got these ankles back in November, so it's... It's about sorry, I'm really putting it trying to plug in the the charger uh, oh my God I'm like So I'm gonna charge it for about 30 minutes. I don't even know if it's charging because okay. It's supposed to turn the light is supposed to turn uh, vivid orange when it's charging and um, it was kind of light orange now it's vivid orange which tells me that it's charging and once it's fully charged it's supposed to the light's supposed to turn green so while this is this is charging i can't really do anything so i'm gonna do computer work
Let me show you. So you see how it's orange, orange over there, over here, yeah. So it's charging, and this is here, and my leg is here. So, so that's it. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna sit here at my desk and work, work, and I'll check on dinner. Okay, so apparently my leg was completely discharged and it's still charging, but I need to go check on my sleep. So let me show you. See, now it's plugged in, it's charging. Now, and you can see the light. Oh, you could hear the noise. But let me show you the movement that it's supposed to be making when it's functioning normally. So that's the ankle right here. And okay, it's not fully charged, but the ankle, see how it's moving? See? See how the ankle is moving? So that's how I know that it was just, it was completely empty like the battery was completely empty because it's still i still need to charge a little bit but at least it's moving the ankle is moving it's flexing basically that's what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna let it charge for a few more minutes until it's time for me to go check the food um i, I can i will hear the oven beep once it's done. It's beeping. It's beeping. Okay, so I gotta go check my food. Yeah, what do you want? Chicken nuggets. You create. You create. So it's apparently done. Uh, well, it's actually not quite done. It's done up until thirty minutes left because I wanna add some veggies to it. So I'm gonna open. I haven't opened yet, so I don't know. I have no clue. It looks like oh look at that this is really nice so and it's reduced like I thought it would be so I have enough room to add veggies and then I will add the rest of the seasoning that I have and I think actually I can't want to finish this on the stove until the water kind of um, yeah but it's good I'm gonna add some veggies frozen veggies So I'm adding this one. This is um, Kirkland stir fry vegetable blend. It's from Costco. So I know it's frozen, which is gonna, which sorry, I know it's uh, frozen veggies, which is gonna add more oil. But I think once it's done in the oven, I'll finish on the stove. Part. Anyway, so looks like our my post my pot a beef pot host is ready. Well, we haven't had rice in a long time so here's my pot roast 
I put it in oh, the. Right. Yes! No, I'm not gonna burn myself. But anyway, here is the oh, fun. Right. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yeah, can I talk? Okay, anyway. So this is the final. I'm going to let it. You're about to give me what? Oh, injection? Oh, okay. Ah! So, I'm, I am so tired. I was going to try to clean up my desk a little bit from the mess that my daughter made, but I am pooped. I am literally exhausted. It has been a crazy and hectic day, so um, I'm just going to wash my face, brush my teeth, and heat the sack. So, thanks for, for watching, and um, um Stay inside, stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.